We're always on the lookout for new and entertaining fighters, so you can imagine how excited we are about Corey Sandhagen. This kickboxer turned mixed martial artist already has an impressive record of 13 wins out of 15 fights. Today, we're taking a look at the UFC career of rising star Corey Sandhagen. This is Ultimate MMA. In his youth, Corey played basketball, but moved on to combat sports in his teenage years. Soon, Sandhagen was racking up titles in the World Kickboxing Association. After winning a WKA world title, Sandhagen's career made a pivot to MMA. After winning some fights in the Legacy Fighting Alliance, Corey finally made his UFC debut. Sandhagen's first UFC fight would be against Austin Arnett at UFC on Fox. Sandhagen was able to show off his unconventional style and diverse movement. By round two, Sandhagen secured his first win by TKO. He's hurt very bad. Arnett in a world of trouble here. Knees to the head for good measure. Sandhagen right back to the body. And there's the end of the fight, Corey Sandhagen. Soon after, Sandhagen would win his first Fight of the Night award against Yuri Alcantara at UFC Fight Night. It was a heavy back and forth, and it looked like Alcantara had it in the bag with a solid armbar. But Sandhagen slipped out and finished the job in round two. He's trying to peel this heel off so Man, he can break this Sandhagen's got toughness, if nothing else. My goodness, and now he's trying to get out. Reverse his position. He's out. Goes high amplitude. And that is it. Corey Sandhagen by TKO. Sandhagen's winning streak was just getting started. At another UFC fight night, Sandhagen faced Mario Batista and won with a first round submission. Looking on an arm now, DC. Yep, armbar. And when a guy keeps throwing him at you like that, right? He's gonna get it eventually. It's oh, over. It's <laughs> Corey Sanhagen does it again. Soon after, Sanhagen came back for more at UFC Fight Night 150. But this time he went all five rounds against John Lineker. Pulls that out. That's what Sanhagen's doing well, is he's faking well. And now he says, you know what? You're throwing too hard. Let me try a double leg on you. Pretty good elbow there from Corey Sanhagen. Nice body shots by Lineker. Sandhagen was able to hold on to a win by split decision. Next, Corey would be fighting Rafael Usensau at UFC 241. Look at this. Takes him down with Kimura. Pops him to the left hand. Just such a wide range of attacks from this young man. With the help of some flying knees and a reach advantage, Sandhagen was able to win by unanimous decision. The next fight was Sandhagen's first UFC loss, and described by Corey himself as embarrassing. It was UFC 250, where Sandhagen would face Aljamain Sterling. In the first round, Sterling got the Colorado native in a rear naked choke and made him tap. He's gonna tap. Eager to redeem himself, Sanhagen came back for more at UFC Fight Night 179 against Marlon Moraes. Corey pulled out his entire toolkit, showcasing his insane technical ability and winning with a spinning back kick in the second round, securing a performance of the night bonus. Corey Sanhagen has proven himself to be an entertaining fighter and a force to be reckoned with in the bantamweight division. Despite his one loss, we're looking forward to watching Corey Sandhagen fight his way to the top of the division in the UFC. Who do you want to see Sandhagen fight next? You think we'll ever see him with the belt? How about that armbar escape? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA.